Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Aries the Emperor. Thank you guys so very much for joining me on this very beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you guys are. This is an all Aries channel for all Aries placements. I say that as in Mars, everyone has Mars aspected in their natal chart. So if this reading resonates with you, then welcome, join us, okay? But please take in mind, this reading may or may not resonate with everyone. So just take what does, leave what does not, place the gender roles where they need to be for you. This is energy and energy is all fluid, okay? Thank you guys, everyone who has liked, subscribed, Donate it to the channel. If you've booked a personal reading with me, thank you guys. I have sent out some readings and um, I saw un that I had some incoming readings in. So I will be continuously working on those readings throughout today and, and tomorrow as well as getting candles out. Okay. Thank you guys for being patient with me. I am a one woman show here, literally. Okay. All right, let's get started. If you'd like to connect with me, I'll leave all of my information in the description box. All right, you guys, let's jump right on in, shall we? So the sun entered Aquarius on this day, okay? As we begin the age of Aquarius, okay? And this will conclude February 19th. So in a sense... This time period may make or break you, okay? This is kind of like a be careful what you wish for. You just might get it if you put the work in, okay? Aquarius is just about that, putting the work in. It's about new opportunities and getting a peek around the corner to get a sneak peek of what's to come to you in the near future. These are forward-thinking people. And not only that, being mentally clear in your financial decisions, you know, receiving the things that your, your heart desires. And in that, the process of building relationships and creating friendships, okay? Aquarius is about coming together. It's a humanitarian type of thing that they have going on, so... You may start to experience, we might start to feel like you want to get out more. You, know? you start thinking about who you're associated with and who you don't want to be associated with and how you're looked at in a certain light, you know, not a pinnacles energy. All right, let's get into it. King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Thank you, spirit. Like I said, the king of swords is someone who is charismatic. They are charming. They are authoritative. They are clear in their thinking and in their communication above all. This is a, a grown ass man you talking to. All right. Masculine or feminine. We both possess both sides. So take it how it resonates. But this right here, this is who you want to talk to when you need some shit done. And that's that's just that on that. Thank you, spirit. So you may be in that energy. Like I said, like this is where you want to be mentally here. This is somebody who logically makes decisions and does not let the heart come in between. Okay? It's nothing personal, but it's about to be more about that business. And for you, Aries, you're already damn near in that mind frame. You're the boss, the baby boss of the Zodiac. You are the leader. So imagine you putting that and mixing it with some of this. You're not to be fucked with. Ace of Wands, energy, fire, boom. You know, this is spirit busting through the walls for you. New opportunity, new starts. New jump starts. These are olive branches being extended. Uh, associates, relationships that I just spoke about you building here. All for you. All right. Thank you, spirit. I like this reading so far. <laughs> All right. What other messages? Okay. What did I say? Three of Cups is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. This is good conversation with people that you know, people you trust, people that want you to win. The hair of font, you know, people that want you to win. Look at these two people down here cheering him on like, yes, 
I'm still here for you. This is you spiritually leading, you know, you being a leader in a good light and, and people wanting to continue to follow you and your process along your journey here, okay? Because they see the boss in you. They see the authoritative figure in you here. This is great energy, Aries. The judgment. This is your own awakening, your own enlightenment here. And, and spirit delicately opening up the heavens and sprinkling down blessings upon you for putting in that work. And not only that, knowing the truth, being the truth, living in it, and not letting anybody come up against it. It's hard to be an honest person out here these days. And for you out there, you wear your heart on your sleeve no matter what. The nine of cups. And that's why you're so emotionally sound. Thank you, spirit. So whatever you put your heart into, you bound to get something back, Aries. All right. So just don't give up on yourself here. What I'm saying, keep pushing. I can feel the energy. It's definitely here for you. Just pff, the Empress is definitely here for you. Taurus energy. Like I said, your possibilities are endless. Like somebody's planetary placements are aligning in their favor. You just got to put the mental and the physical work in here if you have not already begun to do so to set your up yourself up for these nine cups, for this Empress energy, for this King of Swords energy. Like boss the fuck up. Like it's already in you. Just pull it out. It's literally what this is saying here. Like you have a lifeline here. You got a few of them. You're being divinely led here. You are a divine leader. You know, people look up to you. They want to be in your presence. They want to be around you. You know, embrace that. I know it's hard like for an Aries and with this Empress energy, like this somebody that's hard to get to. And Aries, you are like that as well here. You are a people's person, but you don't like people. That's a lot of Aries. It's like you got that fire in you, but Aries is so self-aware to a cup's energy that they be so busy pouring back into themselves that they don't personally neglect people outside of their circle or in their circle or in their, their immediate family or whatever. But it is, it's just like, it's a balance between self. It really is. And the Empress is about self, self-love here. So you're definitely in the right energy. I will say that, okay? What other messages, Spirit? You know, I'm seeing fruitfulness here. Wow. Guess what's at the bottom of the deck, you guys? The Queen of Swords. Ain't nothing getting past this one here. Like, she will shut you up and send you on your goddamn way. This is the counterpart to the King of Swords. The feminine, okay, authoritative figure here. So, fret not, ladies. <laughs> Your divine feminine authoritative power is here, okay? And that Venus energy, I feel like you look amazing right now, collective. Strength card. Like, you've been through a lot. You've had to um, persevere against a lot. I feel like you've been put in situations that probably, normally, you would go the fuck off. But <laughs> since you have learned Empress energy strength, card you've learned how to tame that inner beast and kill them bitches with kindness okay that's what i'm talking about you got bigger and better goals to reach you don't have time for the small fries all right eight of pentacles you too busy working queen of pentacles you too busy nurturing working for your money and humbly pouring it back into you you know, back into the things that matter to you around you in the community here. And this is um, someone who is a, pu a pillar in the community. You could be popular or your popularity could be rising at this time here, collective. And I mean that in more ways than one. I see it for your spirituality, for the work that you put in. Someone is beautiful here inside and out. Um, we have the five of wands here. People are up in arms, you know, they are worked up at this time. This could symbolize, I feel like, a mental struggle or a struggle amongst the, the people that you are still associated with and, and maybe thinking about disassociating yourself with as you begin to ascend here. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, Aquarius energy is about the future, okay, longevity, what's to come. And like I said, what you put in is what you will get out. So these energies around you, especially with this Queen of Swords and this King of Swords here on this deck, 
we not dealing with no bullshit like it, during this time period. This is clear. Clist, crystal goddamn clear. Okay. And just for the record, somebody said in my comments about saying goddamn. I'm not saying with a G-O-D. Okay. Let's be clear. But I digress. Okay. I just wanted to put that out there. I thought that was so silly. Like, come on. All right, let's get a few more and we're going to close the reading out. I see you smiling. And it's about time. It's a comfortable smile. What did I say? Temperance energy, a grateful one. Devil energy, uh, devil card, Capricorn energy. Yeah, I did mention, I feel like there are some people that have some things to say about you. Maybe... Um, the changes that you are making in your life. These are people who are not facing themselves in the mirror and are projecting onto you. It is triggering their demons because they refuse to put in the work, the proper shadow work and really see things for what they are. You know, somebody is, is still trying to hold you mentally and physically in a place in the past that you no longer occupy. King of Wands, Leo, this could be a Leo. Um, or I feel like this could be an air sign as well here. But King of Wands, Eight of Swords here. This is you finally being at peace. All right. This is my goddamn life. And I'm going to move in the direction that I need to move on in is what I feel like spirit is moving through you and speaking. All right. Everybody that has a problem or, or uh, an opinion about what you have going on in this uh, time frame here. Look at this. Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I can't make this shit up. Somebody is bothered to the 10th power. Like, your glow up is just so goddamn impressive that, you know, somebody is over here shitting bricks. Uh, Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. The Devil card. <laughs> the Five of Wands. Somebody's not getting no sleep. Somebody is wishing they could sabotage and attack. This person could be materialistic. This person uh, could have, have some type of addiction, whether this is drinking, smoking, drugs, whatever it is. I feel like right now something is affecting someone very negatively lovers this could be somebody that you were with justice card but shit is not going in their favor it's over with all right you put the work in and the rewards are coming in for you it's clear i said it already it's crystal goddamn clear collective come on spirit let's close the reading out you've clarified everything i need to hear Knight of Wands, wow, collective five of swords. Beware. Somebody is, wow. Somebody's wishing evil on you, wishing bad on you, mad because they thought they won over you, and now they're waking up and realizing they didn't win shit. Somebody is sick. Somebody is depressed in the decisions that they make, the decisions that they have made, and the hell on earth that they are building for themselves. So much so that I feel like somebody is watching you, obsessing on getting another opportunity or trying to figure out another underhanded way to try and snake you. I can't make this shit up. This is every evil card in the goddamn deck. The fuck, Aries? Negative thinking, negative talking, just. And this could be somebody that's doing better than you. Moon card. They're not happy. 
with themselves and they're not happy what they're seeing with you. Spirit, clarify, please. The full card. Wow. Aries energy. Because you just won't stop. You can't stop. You know, you got a machine behind you. The light is behind you. You will not be moved and you will not be changed. But you will be blessed, Aries. Continue on your fool's journey. This is a new start for you. This is the age of Aquarius. You are already a boss. You are already a leader. You are already an authoritative figure in your own damn kingdom. So anybody coming up to you, like I have this candle lit here, return to sender. All right, they will not prevail against you. I'm going to leave this reading here. Hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me. And I'll catch you later. Like, <laughs> this is extravagant. Like, you on your motherfucking way, Aries. And they are mad. Woo! Somebody mad. They don't have to stay mad. <laughs> Ciao.